All right, so I'm gonna show you how this was done. This was done in about 15 minutes with spray cans and all kinds of fun materials. Like newspaper there, we sprayed down some white, we sprayed down some colors over the white, and then passing the newspaper or the poster board over it creates a texture, which would, then we can add a little bit of uh, light to one side, a little bit of shadow to the other side, and then we cover it up in this case, I covered it up with a CD and I put a can of spray paint on top of that CD. And what's that gonna do? It's gonna make one planet behind another. To make the galaxies, we can spray some paint onto our newspaper and then brush it across the painting. And that actually makes a galaxy. Then if we want to add some stars around the edges to make that galaxy have like a, a ring of stars, we can do that with a sponge. Our kitchen sponge, the one that's in your kitchen, the green scrubby thing that you use to scrub your pots makes great stars if you tear off a chunk and dip it into some paint. And then you can adorn that galaxy. You can make it just perfect by spraying a little bit of white right in the middle and spraying some white onto a palette knife or a, a spatula or even a torn piece of paper and shaking it onto your painting to make stars. Now you notice we spray down some colors underneath all the stuff we put in the sky. We can actually use those colors underneath to make mountains by using some newspaper and removing the top layer of dark paint and revealing some of that brown and pink and orange paint underneath, we make a row of mountains by using what's called sliding newspaper techniques. That's using our fingers inside the newspaper to draw. And you notice the lines that are at the top of those mountains. That's our finger pressing down inside the newspaper. And you can make layers and rows of these mountains by removing the paint, drawing inside the newspaper, pressing down with your finger. And then you can add some detail with a palette knife. This is just a little, a little spatula that you can buy in pretty much any art store. And you can draw into your paint with that. It's called a palette knife. And I like these small ones that are about an inch that have a point at the top, a little bit flexible. And we have a lesson inside the membership area about how to use the palette knife to draw all kinds of things, including cities and just anything you want. So to make the waterfalls, all I did was scoop up some paint with a torn piece of poster board and drag it, drag it down in the shape of the waterfall. And then I filled in the bottom with a little bit of white paint and you can make a very beautiful edge to that waterfall by spraying up against a piece of poster board that edge and if you notice where i'm spraying i'm not spraying onto my painting i'm bouncing the paint off the paper onto my painting and that's how i get very nice soft delicate edges instead of a hard spray that's really important bouncing your paint off the paper onto your painting now we, in spray paint art we use all kinds of interesting tools this tool happens to be something you can get in a hardware store for painting decks. It's called a paint pad and you can cut them into little semicircles. And I go into detail about the kind of paint pads that you might uh, experiment with and, and uh, you know, different kinds of foliage that you can make with them. But it's very simple to go to a hardware store, find a paint pad for a deck painting and cut it into little semicircles, dip it into your paint and you can make beautiful bushes. That's a wonderful technique that you can use with just any kind of acrylic paint, including spray paint or airbrush or just regular painting. Uh, and then makes these beautiful bushes, which you can then shade with if you have transparent spray paint. Transparent spray paint doesn't necessarily have the name transparent in it. Sometimes they can be metallic or they can be fluorescent or just different brands that, that we just know from use are, you know, that you can see through. Transparent means you can see through them. And we can use these colors to do all kinds of fun effects like that light behind the planet or a little bit of light in the, in the space there and like little galaxies the edges of our galaxy, um, the shading on the bushes, that's all done with transparent paints. So, so put your name in the form on this page to get a free materials list and a free video that are going to show you some more stuff about spray paint art. And in that free materials list, I go into transparent colors that will help you do things like the effect that I'm creating on the edge of this galaxy, for example, is done with transparent colors. So get that free materials list and really check it out and understand the options that you have in terms of spray cans. You can you can do all this with non-toxic water-based spray cans, by the way. You don't have to paint with uh, solvent-based stuff. You can do it with your airbrush as well. So when you log into the membership area, you got the spray paint area and you got the airbrush area. And those are two different areas, but they teach the same techniques, just done with different materials. In the spray paint art area, we've got over 300 videos, well over 300 videos at this time. Uh, if you get the gold membership, you get a huge library. And 
it's a good place to start out is with the modules. We've got modules one, two, and three. And what those are, are ways to build your skills. Module one teaches you the basic, the planet, the mountains and the land, the palette knife and spatula techniques. Module two goes into more detail. We start to deal with skies. We teach you how to get a little bit fancier, a little bit better about your landscapes and your planets. And module three, we deal with some very interesting topics. We have, we're dealing with waves and spiral galaxies. Inside the membership area, you also have discounts. So once you buy one thing, you can get other things cheaper. So here's an example of just one of the lessons inside the membership area. Uh, we've got a black and white painting here, so you click on the video, you can watch it there, or you can download it to your laptop if you want, and uh, take it with you and keep it forever. The download link is right underneath the video. I make it very easy to download because I want you to download this stuff. I want you to watch it over and over again on your own equipment so that you can learn these skills. It's really important. Let's go to the airbrush area so you can see what's in there. Uh, we've got the setup videos. I teach you all the basic skills about how to do spray paint art techniques with an airbrush, what kind of airbrush, what kind of compressor, how you set up your materials, how do you do all the basic techniques with airbrush, and then underneath that we've got tons of lessons that you can experiment with for making planets, galaxies, seascapes, landscapes, all kinds of fun stuff. So we've also got some packages. I uh, like the galaxy package and the waves, water and underwater package where you just uh, make your purchase and you go in and you just download your videos right onto your computer and you keep them forever. So here's the galaxy package and you can see all the fun galaxy paintings that you can learn in there. So just get the package that most appeals to you, download your videos and have some fun. And if you have any questions, my name is Alisa Amor and my email is spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. See you inside. Ciao.